Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is James, a software developer living in Raleigh, North Carolina. This is the first day in the life video that I'm really making, so it'll be kind of rough. On this channel, I plan to document more of my life, share some tech that I like, and also share some tips on software engineering, like things like how to get started. I'm also building my own products, so it'll be cool to take you guys along on that. Wow. And with that, Today I'll be taking you through a day in my life. I just got back from a week long trip to Orlando, which is my hometown. So today is kind of just getting settling back into my routine. Before I hop on to work, do I need to take my dog for a quick walk? Right now that he's all walked, how to dive back into work. Today is mainly about catching up on what I missed the week that I was away. I'm just going to be reading my emails, looking at Slack messages, and maybe seeing if there's any comments on some of the pull requests I put in before I left. I'm currently working for a cool startup called Yendo. They have this cool concept where you can use the value of your vehicle to obtain a credit card. It's definitely worth checking out. They're really trying to help a lot of people. I'm doing Flutter development for them right now. For those who don't know, Flutter is an open source UI software development kit created by Google. It's used for cross-platform applications, like you can do iOS, Android, Linux, Mac, Windows, even doing webs now in a single code base. Pretty cool. I've been in the industry for about six years. Started with full stack web development, then front end web development, but I've really grown to like mobile. I've tried different things like React Native, some native using like Swift or Java for Android, but I really like Flutter lately. So that's been where I've been putting most of my focus. Something that I've learned over the years that I want to share with you guys is that it's okay to niche down. I kept my skills kind of broad for a long time, but now I'm feeling some challenges to that. It's not anything major, like you can get jobs either way, but I kind of wish I had six years of just mobile development. It, it would have made just a lot of things much more simpler now within my current role, but there are some benefits of being broad. I've had a lot of flexibility with finding different jobs. Sometimes the market's up and down. So if you have a diversified skill set, you can kind of bounce around easier. So you really just have to pick and choose the battles. Honestly, if I could go back, I don't really know if I would change my journey, but it's just something that I've, I've realized.
before I forget, I did get something cool. It's called a tidbit. It's a retro screen that can display various bits of info, like weather, stocks, and different things. So I'm pretty excited to set it up. For the tidbit, you can, once you set it up, there's an app that goes along with it. And on the app, they have all of the different tidbit apps. I don't know what they call them, maybe bits, who knows. But there's some cool ones. There's like Pokemon, there's stocks, there's crypto information. You can even hook it up to your GitHub. So it's pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. I use it a lot for just the weather and also showing me what's next on my calendar. So that way I don't have to like actually look at my calendar every single time. All right, time for a break. I've been really trying to hit 10,000 steps a day, but it's been pretty tough, especially as a desk job. So I'm doing this weird thing where I bought this little table and I bring it to the treadmill in the gym. It's a pretty good way to keep moving while working. It was kind of weird at first. I thought it'd be kind of awkward, but I got used to it and the people around me didn't really notice. I have even have a couple friends come into the gym and um, they didn't even realize I was on my laptop. So that kind of made me feel better. I think I want to transition to buying a treadmill for my desk at home since I have a standing desk, but I don't know if I want to commit to that yet. Now that the evening's here, it's time for some personal projects. So that's kind of what I'll be working on today. I'm building a travel app and there's a feature that's been giving me a hard time. But thanks to GPT, I'll be able to peer program with it. Sometimes GPT helps, sometimes it makes it even more complicated, but I think with this issue, it'll really help me out. That's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed a day in the life of a developer, at least from my point of view. I didn't do much today apart from work. Some days are like that, some days are more exciting. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more different insights, unboxings, and the random apps I'll be making and putting out. Thanks for watching.